Riley Flanagan is a self-proclaimed foodie, and she loves the elevated Italian fare at her recommended spot. For innovative dishes and locally sourced ingredients, she heads to Bardea Food and Drink in Wilmington, Delaware. We uh, opened Bardea back in 2018. We just wanted to open up a great restaurant downtown. In the first four months that we were open, we got a James Beard nomination for best new restaurant in the country. That was a game changer for us. We saw this community uh, root us on. Um, just to be in that list of great restaurants was such an honor, but we saw how much pride this city has. Yes, yeah, so our cuisine at Bardea is uh, Italian inspired. Uh, we definitely kind of take inspirations from all over, whether it be Mexican cuisine, Asian cuisine, but definitely at its heart and soul. Uh, it's, you know, kind of represents even things that my grandmother would cook for me and my nonna would cook for me at home. I'm a third generation uh, restaurant guy. My uh, great grandfather used to have bars and uh, restaurants on the docks of Old City. And when it's in your blood, similar to Antimo, his family's been doing it forever too. It's something, it's just, I don't know life without being uh, part of the restaurant. When guests come in here, part of the fun and the magical part is there's a lot of names of dishes that people are familiar, or ingredients people are familiar with, but the way we do it, the servers walk them through, navigate them through an experience. It's almost like creating a little miniature tasting menu, and this is our house, and we like to have people feel that way. They're dining in our kitchen. Riley, there is a reason that Bardea is Italian for the goddess of food and drink. Mm -hmm. Tell us why you picked it. Because I loved the atmosphere in there. You walk in, it's bustling, hustling, it's very fun atmosphere. Every time a food was brought out, there was a story behind every single dish that was brought out. You could just like almost feel the flavors when they were talking about it, and then when you ate it, it made the experience that much better. You started your meal with the lobster taquitos. Yes. How were they? Usually when you get like a taquito or any type of like seafood, they're like very like, you know, skimpy with it. It was completely stuffed to the full. It was delicious. I loved the lobster crab meat in there. It was very delicious and very flavorful. Then, how did you start your meal? I got chicken wings, just like the <laughs> last time. Chicken wings. <laughs> of yeah. course you have the chicken wings. Well, when you go to a restaurant that has beer and chicken wings, it's like the perfect combo. Of course. So, got chicken wings, got some beer, and it was good. They're probably the best chicken wings I've ever had. They had, like, some green onions sprinkled on top, on top of it, but when I ate it, it just kind of came off right off the bone. Mm -hmm. You didn't have to, like, tug at it. It just, like, just peeled right off. And... It was just so good. I don't really know how to describe it other than saying, like, these chicken wings were to die for. Like, any everybody should get these chicken wings. And then you also tried the risotto. Yeah. How was it? Once again, it was just so good. There was, like, this weird, like, marmalade, I guess, it mm. like, or, like, a jelly at the bottom that kind of added, like, a subtle sweetness to it. Mm. And it was just... It's one of those things where you eat it and you're like, oh my God, like, now, what's in this? Risotto is also one of those things that can be a little too al dente or like mm. too mushy. Was it right in the it middle was, there? It was perfect. Yeah. I feel like this place's specialty was adding that like little sauce at the bottom or like this little side, you know, sauce or spice or flavor that really just like elevated the whole dish. Yeah, they're taking traditional Italian flavors and then playing with them and really yeah. playing things up. And I really noticed that with every single plate. I know you tried some pizza. How oh, was it? It was so good. Was it, it the was, upside down pizza? It was called the upside down pizza. Yeah. It wasn't exactly upside down. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't like just. It wasn't too. It wasn't too. Right. <laughs> they served it to us, crossed up. No. <laughs> um, yeah. It was so good. There was a great like uh, ratio of cheese to sauce, which is really important for pizza. Mm -hmm. It was like a thin a thin crust, but then the crust at the edges was really just like, you could tell it was very fresh dough. I'm not usually a crust person, but I ate the entirety of this stuff. Now, what makes it an upside down pizza? Is it the cheese on the bottom and then the sauce? I think so. Okay, okay. <laughs> <laughs> just wanted to clarify. And the, the toppings were underneath, is what I, from what I remember. Oh, okay, yeah. I see. How about that pork collar? Oh, oh so my good. Oh my God, you can go first. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so there was this like, candied ginger, as well as pineapple, right? Mm -hmm. And so they're all good separately, but then once you stack it, whole different game. It's so good, so flavorful. Nothing um, like mixing up bites too, that's really fun. Yeah, yeah, right? Not a single bite of it was dry. It was like, I barely needed a knife. You just like use the fork to just like, almost like 
tear, like tear it off and it just like came right apart. And it was so juicy and flavorful. You didn't need that, but then when you added the pineapple mm. and like the candied, oh my God, it was just, I couldn't like <laughs> get enough of it. What other entrees did you try? Ricotta gnocchi. They said this is actually, they're like, <laughs> it was like their, like one of their most popular dishes or like their dish they're known for. It was really delicious. And when the gnocchi came out, it was it seemed like a very plain dish, but somehow it tasted really good. And like everybody was like fluffy and like, I don't know, cloudy. I, don't know. I saw you nearly jump out of the chair <laughs> when you heard gnocchi. <laughs> It was so good, and it ended up being the first plate that came. They kind of, you give them a list of what you want, and they kind of, um, the waiter or waitress paces it themselves so that you don't get too many things at once. It was just the most amazing thing to start off on. I don't know, it, you're right, it sounds so simple, but it tasted like you're biting into a cloud. Then how about you? What other entrees did you try? I got the uh, bolognese which was really good. It's, it's one of, again, it's one of those things where it's like, I eat this pretty frequently, but then when I had this one, I was like, whoa, like what's in this? It's so good. Riley, what did you get for dessert? Yes. So it came out and it looked like one of those like upside down pineapple cake things, but it was like a donut and it was flaky. It was doughy. It tasted delicious like a donut, but crispy on the outside, doughy on the inside. It also came with like ice cream and the marmalade and you just like combined it all together and it was so delicious. And it was like white, tasted like a white chocolate. Like, mm. I don't Rhea, know. you had the tiramisu tart, which is a <sighs> unique combination of desserts. It was so good. So first of all, when we ordered the tiramisu tart, the, the waitress was like, oh, is it okay if there's an affogato on the side? And we were like, is it ever <laughs> not okay <laughs> for there to be an affogato on the side? The presentation was really nice. It came with, um, so it was like this tart, the affogato, and then there was edible gold on top, which Whoa. just stuck out, right? Ooh, I had never, fancy. I had never had that before, so it was really, it was very fun. The tart itself was super good. The crust was really flaky, but like thick enough for it to not fall apart. And we ended up like dipping the, dipping the tart into the espresso. Of course. Great. Riley, do you have any go-to drinks? I'm a huge chai tea latte girly. Like I love chai teas. That's just like my go-to whenever I go to a coffee shop. <laughs> and they had a drink, has all their drinks, like they have really fancy, fun names to them, yeah. which I really liked. And one of them was called It's Worth a Chai. <laughs> yeah. And was it? Yes, it was. It was wow. absolutely so good. And they had some like foam on top of it, so it looked like a chai tea, but obviously it wasn't. But it was like an alcoholic chai tea, and it tasted like chai you were drinking, mm. but like alcoholic. So that was really good. Awesome. I also tried one that was called like the working girl. Oh. Um, and then I ended the night having, trying, it was a blueberry cobbler IPA. Ooh. And I was like, I've never seen this before, but I have to try it. Yeah. So I tried it, tasted like blueberry cobbler beer. Mm. <laughs> what did you think of the service, Priya? I really enjoyed the service. So I think they did a great job. Um, the menu's huge, and because it's small plates, like it's always a little overwhelming, right? You never really know what to do. Um, our waitress was really good and straightforward, transparent about, um, they recommend seven plates for a couple of people, um, and they're very clear about like, the plates are different sizes. It's a well-paced meal where they work like clockwork, where mm -hmm. they come, they, they present one dish, they tell you the story behind it, all of the information, and then you know make sure that your drinks are topped off. But it's very orderly and very choreographed. Yeah. Well, Riley, Bardea is your pick. Sum yeah. it up for us. <laughs> Bardea is the perfect place that really cultivates a sharing food experience, and also a place that has, if you're looking for some unique, high quality, flavorful food, that's the place to go. All right, Ven, what's the big takeaway? If you want really good food that's really fancy looking and you want to impress a date, I would recommend <laughs> going to Bardea. It's, it was so good. I loved it. And Priya, what are your final thoughts? I think if you want food that sounds like you've heard of it before, but you really need it to be a step up, you want it to be a little fancier, a little tastier, have that extra layer added, Bardea is your place. Try the inventive Italian dishes for yourself at Bardea, located at 620 North Market Street in Wilmington, Delaware, 302-426-2069. Reservations are accepted, and the average tab per person without drinks is $40.